Hey, hi everyone, it's Laura here from Laura's Creative Pages and Cards and we're going to make this really sweet birthday wishes card today. Right, so we're going to be doing this one in the landscape, so which is the five and a half wide by four and a quarter. The pieces that we're going to require for this card is this nectarine piece here, which is one and one quarter by four and a quarter. Then we're going to need the lemonade piece of cardstock, which is three and three quarters by two and a half. The decorative piece is three and five eighths by two and three eighths. Then we're going to need this sapphire square, which is two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and the white daisy square, and this one is two and one eighth by two and one eighth. Plus, we're going to need just a scrap piece of card to stamp the flowers onto. Okay, then. So now that we've got all of those pieces, we're going to start with the stamping this time. We're going to do the birthday wishes, and this here is stamped in Lagoon. So I've already got the birthday wishes preloaded onto the block. They were the curvy ones, but they're already straightened onto the block, and they're both on the one block. And we're just going to random stamp it um, all over the uh, white square, uh, all in different places, just to get a random stamping of birthday wishes. So I'm actually stamping uh, off the second generation so it's not all dark, dark. So it's going to have some dark bits and some light bits over the square there. So there we go. So it's just got random birthday wishes over that piece of white daisy cardstock. Next, we're going to stamp on this scrap piece here. We're just going to stamp the floral bouquet and that's going to be in the black. And just going to stamp that there in the center. And oh, I've got a bit of a gap missing due to me not actually stamping on the foamy side of my mat. So I'm just lining that back up and I'm just going to press it down really hard in the center without re-inking. And now I've got that center piece there. All right, now I'm going to just show you, I'm just using some random colors, no specific colors. It's a bouquet. So just any floral colors and any, you know, foliage colors. That's all you need for this bouquet. So color it in. Once it's colored in, then you just need to grab uh, your fine point scissors and fussy cut it out so you've got a bouquet. Okay, now let's pop this together. First of all, we need, we actually need the lemonade piece, not that nectarine piece. We need this lemonade piece first. I'm just going to put the adhesive on this. So one at each end, a little bit in the middle. And then just find the center of the front of your card and pop it in the center there. Once you've found the center and you're happy, then you press it down. Perfect. Okay, next piece that's going on is this gorgeous polka dot decorative pink paper. Again, three bits of tape is all I need. And then that's going to just fit there in the center of the yellow matting. Nectarine needs to go on next, but the first thing I want to do is I would just want to give it the stitching um, with the black journal pen. So I'm just doing lots of little dashes down the side of this. So here we go, supersonic speed, get that done nice and quick. So we've got those dashes on either side, which the stitch looks just a really fun look to add to some elements of the card. Now that's done, we're just going to tape that on no specific set um, placement, just so that a little bit of the yellow and the polka dots sticking out on the right hand side. Now the sapphire square is going on next and this is what is added on with the 3D foam tape to add that elevation to this card. So this particular element is what's getting raised up. So I'm just going to snip off two pieces of my narrow foam tape and sit them in a little bit in from the edge of the square so that way I only need two pieces of that foam tape and that's enough for this particular element. And then just have it sort of offset again so everything's a little bit offset which is a really fun look on a card. The birthday wishes would sit there but before um, oh no, I'm going to tape that down with just two pieces at the top and bottom but before I tape on the bouquet, I do want to show you uh, the option of what you can do if you don't have Lagoon ink. So for this card, the Glacier, a lighter blue is a really great option. Bring the Glacier in and then using your black ink, just stamp that birthday wishes all over the Glacier cardstock to get that same, you know, random background stamping look as we've already done with the Lagoon ink. 
and then so this is the best option the glacier is a light color it coordinates beautifully with you know the papers we've already used so that's the great option to use just getting rid of that excess ink I've got on my mat and then I'll just quickly show you what it would look like on the card so that's what it would look like if you don't have lagoon ink fabulous all right now we're going to add the bouquet on and just with that I'm just popping a little bit of 3d foam tape here just on the left side and then raising up another level sticking it on top of the actual birthday wishes sentiment that looks good next I just want to bring in I've got three silver gems I just think this card needs a few gems just to elevate the look of it a little bit all of my cards are really simple it's just really the foundations of good card making any of these cards that you make you could take it again to the next level you could add you know more random background stamping all sorts of things to the card but all of these cards are stunning. I don't think anybody would turn their nose up at receiving any of these beautiful cards. Um, but of course, you could always go and elevate any of this artwork. Okay, so stitched borders, just been, the um, journal borders just been put on to finish it off. And that is card 11 done in this series. This is a really pretty card. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.